The state of Israel was established to be the state for the Jewish people. And with that comes a responsibility, a responsibility to be a home for all Jews of all different types, all different colors, all different kinds. Today, unfortunately, in the state of Israel, we see how there is a gap, a distance, a division between people who are Israeli and their sense and identity of Judaism. One great example for that is how many Israelis, fewer and fewer, are getting married through the chief rabbinate, are flying to places like Cyprus, or now recently a Supreme Court decision to allow marriages through Zoom in the state of Utah in the United States. Why are they not getting married here? Because these are people who are turned off from the politicization of religion. And they feel that this is not something they want to participate in. They don't want to participate in a religion that has become politicized. The best thing possible would be to create a free market of Judaism in the state of Israel, to open it up, to allow more, cons more consumers, more people to engage with what Judaism has to offer. Ideally, in my opinion, that would be a separation of religion and state in the country. And we don't have to fear what will happen to the Jewish identity. We speak the language of Hebrew. Our calendar is the Jewish calendar. Our soldiers run into battle yelling out commands in the Hebrew language. We don't have to worry about the Jewish identity, but we do have to worry about connecting Jews with Judaism. And the other consequence will be that Jews from around the world will look to Israel and see it as a place that they too can connect with. How is it possible that reform, conservative, orthodox, and ultra-orthodox rabbis can sit together around the same table in New York, London, Melbourne, and Paris, but not in Jerusalem or Tel Aviv? That has to change. And looking to the future, what I would like to see is that we do break up this monopoly, we create a free market of religion in the state of Israel.